Tamika, good morning as we're back at Dixie Heights High School. Catherine, I feel like we're with the cool kids right now. We are. We're in an area where the seniors can eat lunch on wonderful weather days like we're going to expect here today. We're at Dixie Heights High School once again as we continue to celebrate the back-to-school season, if you will. And with us is a, a guy who once was a senior here at Dixie, Roddy Stainforth, but more importantly now, AP government teacher and the brand-new head coach of the basketball team here for the Colonels. Yeah, uh, very excited. I've been an assistant for the last 13 years, and this year I get to take over as uh, head coach. So. I'm excited. It's a new challenge, and I get to do something I love at the place where I grew up and graduated from. You mentioned place where you, you grew up and graduated from. What does it mean to come back to the school that not only you attended, but now to coach the kids in your community? I have a whole new perspective on how awesome this place is. I think as a high school student, life goes really, really fast, and you don't really get to slow down and see stuff. Coming back, I realize exactly how many awesome people and awesome things we got going on in this building, and I get to see it from a different perspective, and it's it's really neat. There's there's a lot of neat things going on in here. It's one thing to be a teacher, but from some of the students we've talked to, you're some of the kids' favorite teacher out there. What is it that you think you bring to the classroom? I, I, I don't know. I, I spend a lot of time trying to build relationships with the kids. Uh, I like to have conversations with them. I like to be able to see them in the hallway and, and say more to them than just their name. I want to know what's going on. Uh, ask them about the band competition or the football game or ask them what's going on in their classes. So I, I like to learn about the students and build that rapport. And you're not, you're teaching some tough AP classes, yes. right? Yes. All right. Uh, we're teaching uh, AP government politics, which is typically uh, given to seniors. Uh, we do it for freshmen here. This year we have 100 freshmen taking an AP class, uh, which is exciting to watch them rise to the challenge. So in other words, Catherine, you'd be in his class. I'd be down in the study <laughs> hall. All right, we're outside right now. It is a pleasant start to the morning. Let's get over to our 9 First Morning Forecast with meteorologist Sherry Hughes. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, you guys. We're having so much fun out there. 